Nope, he's still dancing. And people are losing interest. Please report it. We don't want any more trouble. You got it, boss. I mean, wait, I'm probably... No, I'm not really high rank, am I? But he's not my boss either, because I don't work for their fucking police. Not anymore, at least. But if I was a policeman, he wouldn't be my boss. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Sup? I got some machine pistols to What's sell you. What's your pleasure, friend? Sell. Hup. 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 And weapons. Goodbye, machine pistol. Aw, oh, yeah. Combat rifle is something to sell, because I can't really... Be sure to tell... Whoops. How may I... Can I get any... No, that's stupid. Why can I only get shotgun cartridges from here? Hmm. That's dumb. I don't want a shotgun. See it. I don't want a shotgun. I like my current setup. Silence rifle, combat rifle, and pistol for backup. See, that's a great idea. Oh well. Uh, let's get over to that apartment. Uh, do we go around this way? Yes, we do. Awesome. I like the way this place is structured. It's all alleyways and shortcuts and stuff to get through. Wonder if there's anything hidden up there, though. I wouldn't doubt it. It's hidden items. They hide. They tried to hide that stuff behind the fence, even though that stuff wasn't really all that great. Hmm. Oh, hey, okay. There was some shit up here. Not in terms of items, but a way to get, to get across the other building. Oh. Where the hell am I? Hmm. Okay. Is there any reason to have this building, or what? Exit. Why? Why is this an exit? Wait, what? This isn't an exit. Ah! Ah, ah. Right, I'm leaving. That was stupid. Okay, Amali's apartment. Amali's apartment is directly above us, so staircase? Yep, here we go. And we're gonna take this fire extinguisher in case I have to throw it at a guy. Yeah! Oh, it's already broken. Oh, mind me, I didn't just break a fire extinguisher. Hello, security. Hack. We got. Okay. Ha! Got me a stop worm. Fuck yeah. Okay. Uh, boxes, a weapon, newspaper, anti og terrace at large, Zeke Stander, Sanders. Alright, we already read that. Oh, cool. Shit. There's something back there. Good thing I've got this, eh? No target in range. What do you mean, no target in range? There we go. <laughs> ha! What was that? The fuck? Okay, it was a trap. It was a booby trap door. Right, 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 right. Take this. Quick save. Throw that yeah. on the door. Oh my. Okay, so that was what's- well, that's what was there. It didn't kill me though, so that was a really shitty booby trap room! <laughs> that was horrible! That didn't do anything to me! Huh. Right, I'm gonna- 
don't mind me. I'm gonna hack your stuff. I love how he had a level four security door, and his computer's just level one. That's amusing yeah. to me. Oh shit! I already got found out. Damn, son. Nope. Get that out of here. Bam. Access granted. Okay. Uh, new security gate. Some fucked up. Hey, boss. Sam really fucked up this time. We told him. We told him to keep it cool, that you'd come up with a clean s solution. But you know him with his crazy-ass temper. Said there wasn't no risk. He was covered in what whatnot. We went straight to Big Ben's corner and iced him in the middle of the goddamn street. He said it was deserted, but I've heard through some of my, through some of my personal channels that a local dealer might have witnessed all of it. I'll hit you back once I know who he is and what he knows. This is Big Boss. If they ever get to Sam, you know he'll talk. Alright. Hey, Jack. Or, oh, hello, Jack. As you know, the situation with the gangs has become somewhat of an issue for us here. Just like rats, these scum are slowly burying their w burrowing their way closer and closer to a Highland Park facility. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just making sure. Last time I was in here... Or last time I went, broke into someone's place, they fucking tried to kill me. Except it wasn't really the person, it was someone else. Hello. Dude, look at all these weapons and shit. Why didn't that open? Fuck. So I got crossbow arrows, but not a crossbow? Huh? I'm assuming that's what's in the weapon chest, but the weapon chest didn't have anything open. Huh. Just gonna drink some water. Let's try that again. What the fuck? I'm taking the shotgun then. Now one thing, I, I don't know, like the other weapon chest, the one with the rocket launcher supposedly, that didn't open up either, so what the fuck? Huh. Oh well. We got what we came here for, let's leave. Uh, and I think I'm gonna sell the shotgun to uh, the guy, because why not? I like selling weapons, I get money out of it. You know what? What, what? I still have a praxis point that I need to use up. I just gotta fucking. Gah. I'm gonna make all of you hate me right now. I'm really about to make you hate me for buying another slot. Huh. It isn't even. It isn't, oh, wait. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't need anything right now. I don't really care about stealth except for when we get assignments like the last one. I don't think I'm gonna need the Icarus landing system, at least not yet. Uh, dermal armor would have been nice. Or I could just, you know, stand back and kill things. Cloaking system? Holy shit, what? That's fucking awesome. Mmm, right, okay. Uh, hacking analyze tool. I could get my hacking up a little bit because I have... I, I can't hack level 4 terminals and stuff, but look at... Why are there 4... Th th stuff? Whatever. I'm not worried yet. We're gonna go. I should've taken those arrows, huh? Shit. Right, okay. Selling the shotgun! Trust me, guys, I'm definitely not going to try to close the distance with a shotgun. No matter what. No matter what. Unless it becomes like a long-range shotgun, What's I don't know. It's a pleasure, friend. Hi, sup? Here, have a shotgun. That's money. I quite enjoy money. It's nice. And bye. Once again, there's nothing. You are a really crappy person. Sure. You're going to have all these weapons and buy all these weapons off me. But you don't even have ammo. Lame. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go to, I think it's finally time that we head over to the police station. Um. Or something. Wait. 
Is there a way up there from below? Holy shit! Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! I think I might have just found out what I'm supposed to do. Alright. I'm supposed to go down to the sewers. And find a way up from there. Cool. And I'm also going to hoop this. Eh. Okay, see... <laughs> God damn it. I throw it too hard. Adam, Adam Jensen doesn't know his strength. Get, come, get back here. Ha! You suck, Jensen. I hate you. Ooh, hello. Aww. What's in here? Lame. Okay, where am I going? I want to go this way. Wait, this is a shortcut? No, no, it's not. Okay, I was thinking wrong. Let's go. Damn, someone's screaming really hard. Holy shit. If I heard that, I'd cry myself to sleep. Like, if I just heard that outside one day... Ugh. Well, there we go. And I think there's a sewer grate right there. Hell yes. I know what's up. Ow. I know what's up. I should probably re reorganize my, my slot shit here. They did give it to us. For a reason. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Sniper. Explosives. Assault rifle. Beer. Alright! Awesome! Oh, God! Okay, there we go. I had to readjust myself in the seat. Um, there's a hobo just chilling out on a bed. That's cool. Ooh. You got this electric shit down here, too. What the hell is up? What the fuck's up with that? Don't come no closer, Slicky. Back off. Do you really want to mess with me? Ow, 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 ow. Keep out of this, Hansa. Get lost. Fuck. That's it, man. Last chance. Alright, alright, alright. I'm backing off. I'm backing off. But not really, because fuck you. Dick. Back off, Hanser! Yeah, you should have been the one to back off, punk ass. Hmm. To shoot everyone or not? That is the question, is it? Not... <laughs> Simple and clean is the way that I'm thinking. Or feeling. Whatever you want to say. Oh, look, a shotgun. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Surely this leads up to the power switch for me to turn off, right? Yes! Stop that shit, electricity. God. Eh. Okay. Is there anyone else down here that I could possibly partake in killing? Hmm? Hmm? Anyone? I'm feeling good. Or don't, don't, don't you guys feel good after taking out some people like that? Oh. Alright, so we actually had some vents and stuff that we could have used to move around. Oops! Oh well. The fuck? Sup, hobos? What are you doing all the way back here? Huh. Well, here's a sewer grate. Maybe it leads up to where I want it to lead us up to. Huh? Yeah? What's up? What's going on here? Yes! I was fucking right! Awesome! And then we have some whiskey. Put that weapon away! Please put that thing away. Put it away, man. That serve actually thinks augmentations are gonna help mankind. There are people in this city can't afford to eat. Are you implying yourself? Shut up, lady. What the fuck's up there? 
fuck? Um... Box. Come with me if you want to live. Hup. Now, what security level is this? Level 2. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could climb up here and see if there's a another entrance. Ah, look at that! A vent! <gasps> oh shit! This is the police department! This is the police department! No! No, I want to go through the front door! No, 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 no. Back to the city. Whoa. I don't want to- I don't want to be a bad guy. I'm going back down. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Let's go ahead and get inside this thing. Actually, wait. Let's deal with O'Malley first. Hi! Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package, and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me, just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. Hmm. Convince Amali to pay part of the reward in advance. Okay. You're obviously a powerful man. And messing with you is probably a bad idea. I just want half the payment in advance to know I can trust you. Don't pretend to know what I'd like to hear, my friend. I do not crave the attention of others, but I do admire your guts. Here's a gesture of goodwill. <laughs> uh, you fucking idiot. Wow, killing him just makes me completely fail the mission. Oh, what else is on him? 500 credits to make up for it. Well, at least they do that, right? Okay. Just gonna load the quick save. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm such a dick. Alright, nice talking to you, O'Malley. I'm gonna go do this other thing. Do. Four, eight, nine, one. <sighs> Megan Reed, sex, female. Oh, she likes females. Oh, blood type O+. Plus. Okay, preliminary note. I have been appointed by the stake to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims of the attack on Seraph Industries. This is due to the critical nature of the incident and the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. Alright. Uh, file diagnosis. Vertebral... Okay. Ouch. Okay. Abrasions found in the neck area, hard to clear, clearly verify due to severe burns, but throat seems crushed. 
Extremely severe burns covering the entirety of the body. Accelerant resi residue has been sent to chem labs for analysis. Absence of fumes, residue, and ash in the lungs indicate burns are post-mortem. Alright, so she didn't really... Oh, okay. Cause of death is quick and intense snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Cool. Alright. What about this? Terrorist attack on the... Uh, attackers are definitely professionals. Details quick. There is no trace evidence found on what or what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There was a large number of victims, and yet not many rounds were fired, and the accuracy was spot on. The attackers were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Seraph confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just before the attack, but that augmentation itself was unharmed, and no files related to it were stolen. The obvious motive here is theft and or corporate espionage, but why then destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor would no doubt benefit from such a ca catastrophe, but these measures were quite extreme to my knowledge. This is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I've brought, been, uh, that I've brought this matter up to LT Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete thing. Okay. Uh, who's still in critical condition in... Oh, that's me. Okay, the hospital witness to left live is a tech named Arthur Hopkins. Something peculiar regarding the witness's deposition or lack thereof. When we first got on the scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give a clear description of the incident. The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before, before allowing us to interview him. When, he, when we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. He couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still haven't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum. The situation has been resolved with the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He, su he, su he suffered from a severe concussion. This matter is closed. Bullshit. Okay. What is this? Uh, terrorist attack on the... While examining the crime scene, Detective Hayward and I both noticed that the area covered by the attack seemed abnormally damaged. Burnt to a degree that could... Not be explained by normal fire or the use of any known explosives. Explosives. It was the same for all the recovered victims' bodies. Residue analyzed by the forensic lab officers on the scene likely com comes from a high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It, it seems the lab's equipment and victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence. But it just feels odd, like something is off. Okay, and then we have this thing. Uh, hack. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry, bro. I tried. Uh, bracelet, ebook. It's hard to fathom, it all seems. When I made that breakthrough in my research a couple of years ago, I never thought it would get this big. This is from Megan Reed. I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it became to genetics what universal assemblers are to nanotechnology. We're talking about the holy grail of DNA here. Hell, this is Gregor Mendel big. The thing is, I have to bury the truth. Not the discovery, but how I reached my results. It's become harder lately. I betrayed someone. Someone I respected for the sake of my research. I wish I had a chance to fix it, but it got bigger than me. Bigger than Seraph. If this ever came to light, Seraph Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm tired. I think I'll just warp wrap things up for today. Ooh. Close that. I thought that hobo was like a fucking guard coming to kill me or some shit. Holy Jesus. Sup? Don't you have a certain... So what is it I'm picking up? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. I need a more precise location on the target. There's a small back alley known to the locals as Earl's Court. You can access Double T's building using the fire escape. He's in one of the apartments on the fourth floor. Okie dokie. And about... You don't sound like a cop. You don't sound like a cop. You, on the other hand, are starting to sound exactly like one. I strongly suggest you simply get on with the program. Okay, bye. No, bye. Again. Leaving. Oh, ah! I thought I turned this shit off! The fuck, man? Damn it, that means I gotta go all the way around again. Or maybe not, maybe there's a... There are boxes! There are boxes here that I could use to get around. Are you serious? What? No! 
I didn't mean to do that. Are you fu- Because fuck the police. <laughs> I was just like, I, I was trying to pick it up. And then I realized, you know what? I'm about to die anyways. Blow myself up. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow! What the fuck? Are you serious? Fucking auto saves. I hate that shit. Why does this game seem like... Hmm. Right. Well... Let's continue. I didn't mean to fucking hit the guy with the box. I mean, if I wanted to, I would've been like, bang. Oh well. Just gotta make sure to... Throw it not upwards. These boxes go fucking high as shit. Sup? Ooh. Nice. How's it going, bro? Don't mind me. Just gonna go inside and talk to some people. Check out Megan's body. Not Megan's body. Uh, the hacker's body. Yes. It's a good idea. All the media speculation surrounding that hostage situation in Detroit has just blown through. Shut up, the TV. Thanks to the arrival of William Taggart. Shut up, TV. So, listen. Eh. I can't promise anything. Not right now. Hmm? What's up? A hostage taking and a protest the in the same day. Right, I'm going to talk yeah, to this yeah, guy. Yeah, hang on just a sec. Lazarus was right. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see Holy you. Holy shit, there. there's a whole lot of stuff on him. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Yeah. Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tuvik precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Crush. You think you, you think I knew you'd be here? Just open the door and stop getting like, okay? Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't see how I can possibly do this. Uh, There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. No, I you're fine. I my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. Bro, you'll be fine. Uh, observe, you... You're right. It's not my wrist to take, so I'm not going to force you to do anything. Roger. And you're right. It's not my wrist to take. So I'm not going to force you to do anything, and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. You would do that? Look... I am so tired of having that incident wrapped around my throat. Yeah, I killed a kid. He was augmented. He was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that. Uh, nobody's judging. That's why I'm here. We all make mistakes. You okay? Uh... First character you can do what you want to do. This is really high tech stuff here. This is what I really wanted from the Casey mod, not just the personality stuff. Okay. Come on, Wayne. Mexican Town was a complete bohica for both of us. I quit the force because of it, and for a while I blamed you. But even when I was most pissed, I knew I could always count on you because. Because you're a decent guy, Wayne. One of the best. One of the best, huh? One of the best? Oh, God. You manipulative, self-serving jackass. You think I'm gonna fall for that? God damn it. Get the hell out of the station, Jensen. Because I am never gonna let you into that morgue. What the fuck? How did I... Bitch! The fuck do you think you're talking to? 
<sighs> Here I was trying to be all nice and shit, and he just fucking did that? Ugh, I wish you would give me more of a description of what the fuck I'm about to say. Oi, dickwad. Hey, uh, boss. How badly do you want that neural hub? If you're considering multiple homicides to get it, I suggest you back- You're considering multiple homicides to get it? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try that again. Motherfucker. I just tried to be nice. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try this again. I don't know why I didn't quick save before I talked to him. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of the way, you. Get out of the way! Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Now, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Yes. Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. Look at me, asshole. I'm fucking augmented because of this shit. Ah. The precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Fine. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't see how I can possibly do this. There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. I just got my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. I'm not making you do it. And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. You would do that? <sighs> it all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. I like how this is going in a different way a little bit, but we're still gonna release the pheromones. Wayne, are you getting careless? That empty pill bottle in the trash over there. Didn't you know antipsychotics are included in the force's zero tolerance drug policy? <laughs> Uh, I only need them until I get things sorted out. Y you can't do this. It's not right to use them against me. They'll fire me if they find out. Wait, what? No. Lose my pension, everything. I'm not gonna do that. No. But you would, wouldn't you? Fine, you're clear. No. I'll tell the guys to let you through. But I'll never forget this. Why am I such a fucking cocksucker? God damn it! Leave me alone. No, we resolve this in a good way without pissing off anyone. This guy is a bro. I'm not about to have that shit happen. And I probably just loaded the wrong save. Motherfucker. Load. Quick save. Alright, we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna jump cut it to... ...the further point of the conversation, because I know you guys probably don't want to hear it all over again for the third time. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this? You're putting me between a rock and a hard place again! Because you keep making me you fail, asshole. You want me to asshole. sacrifice my job to save your boss's ass? And if I lose my job, my life goes into the toilet! But you don't even care about that, do you? What? Okay, now this is a completely different direction. Holy shit, what? And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago... I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. I don't need your help. 
You want to talk about the past? Fine. Oh, shit. You saw that kid's augments. You know how dangerous he could have been. If he'd gotten close enough, he would have wiped the floor with us. So I made sure he didn't. I took him out. And that's that. Uh... Uh, he was 15, huh? So, uh, nobody's touching you. That's all I hear. Just give me what I want. Oh, let's crush him. He was 15, Haas. In what world can you justify putting a bullet between the eyes of a 15-year-old boy? Uh, there's something I've been waiting two years to tell you. I blame you, Jensen, for everything that happened. Because when the chips were down, you got the order to fire, you refused, I got stuck having to do it, and you just walked out of my life. That's when everything went to shit, when you abandoned me. Oh god, what am I, your boyfriend? Oh, Jesus. It's in the past now, Wayne. We can put it behind us. Really? Yes. God, that's good to know. It's like, well, I can't believe the relief. T tell you what, go on in. The guys won't bother. I did it! I did Adam. it! Oh my god. Thanks. Holy shit! Whoa! Okay. Little does you know that I'm in here for multiple reasons, but yeah. Wow! That one was different. That one was a lot different than the last one. Hey, how are you? Who the hell is this what guy? Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh? Metalhead? Are you serious? You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man. We we obviously got off the <laughs> wrong foot, right? <laughs> I don't want no trouble. Yes. Oh, okay, look. I just came in one morning, and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Saraf as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell why. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Huh. Okay, right. So anyways, I wanted to say something. This was really cool. This was a really interesting thing, especially because it was really... It changed. Every time you tried to go into the conversation, it was different. You couldn't do all the same options. You could do generally the same options, but look where that led me into that last one. I almost fucked up. I kept on absolving like I had in my previous conversations, and I almost lost because of it. So you gotta watch out. And then there was the facial animation, and the voice, was, the voice acting was great. That was a really nice... That was really nice. Hey, give me a call in a couple of days, okay? And I liked resolving it through the normal way than the Casey way because the Casey way makes him all angry and pissed and stuff. Jensen, right? Hey, uh. I heard about you. Yeah. Did you see it on the good news? Cop by most accounts. Lots of mention. But you're lucky you got out. Why? The force now. Our badges mean nothing. We've got no authority. Oh. I can't promise. Look at the force now. Right? Okay. Our Bye. Our badges mean nothing. Woo. Can I get into his lab? I know there's some pills in there. Oh well. Uh, I need to find. Oh, that's the woman's restroom. <clears throat> yeah, not. Yeah, not a woman. Didn't get parts changed. Okay, what is this? 